Temperatures in the low 30s. Maybe the wind chills got into the 20s. No. No, not me. So I'm kind of a dry fly fisherman. This is January 29th and I'm in one of my favorite spots on People's Forest in, by the Squires Tavern on the Farmington River in Northwest Connecticut. If you've seen my movies, my videos, you've, uh, you're probably familiar with this spot. Perhaps you've been here yourself. But anyway, it's January. I like dry flies. Probably wait until later on, until spring, to do any fishing. But this is just an intro. Uh, our friend Claude, the tire, who does such wonderful tying videos, has asked if he could present uh, an Adobe Photoshop technique for making trout fishing posters. And so, uh, that's what this movie is going to be about. If you're just here looking for fishing, you may not be interested in it. But if not, please uh, take a look, enjoy, and maybe it's something you'd like to do yourself. So anyway, that's what this one's about. Two more months roughly before we can start fishing again. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoy it and hope you subscribe to the, subscribe to the channel. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about a trout fishing poster which we made this year after we came back from out west with some photographs that we took of the Madison River and Henry's Fork. The first thing we did to this 14 by 20 inch poster was add some guides so that way we could see exactly where we wanted our images to be placed and our text also. The next thing we did was we made the background black so that it would offset the images nicely. And at this point we brought our images in. The first image is from the Madison River. It's taken from Three Dollar Bridge and it was originally a panorama of six images stitched together. The second image <coughs> is <coughs> excuse me, from Henry's Fork and this was taken uh, in Last Chance below Osborne Bridge. It was taken with a 300 millimeter lens and I like the way it compresses the image so the mountains really stand out. We wanted to have type under the two images and for that I went into a new document and I'll show you in just a second went into a new document so that we could create the type and uh, bring it in under the uh, two images. We're in a new document now. I opened the color of the brown trout which was going to go under the picture of the Madison and chose a font called Impact and typed the words the Madison so that it would be over the color and sized it so it would fill the entire document. Then it was just a matter of clicking the layer, holding command and clicking the layer and you see the marching ants around the type and then I turned the layer off and selected the brown trout layer and hit copy and then hit paste and brought that into the original document. I did the same thing with the rainbow. Opened it, typed Henry's Fork, clicked on the layer to show the marching ants, turned the layer off, made sure the rainbow was selected,
copied and pasted into the other document. With the titles brought into the document, I decided I wanted to make them look as though they were reflecting a black surface of the background. What I did was I duplicated each layer, the Madison and the Henry's Fork. <clears throat> Excuse me. I flipped them vertically and brought them down below each of the titles. Then I lowered the opacity of each one to make it look as though it was fading. Finally, I made a fade by creating a new layer above the reflections of the Madison and Henry's fork and took a soft edge brush and just put a little black along the bottom edge of it to make it look like it was fading into the background. The last thing I did was choose an ultralight Helvetica font and type the words Magic Waters at the bottom of the poster. Thanks so much for looking at this video. I hope it inspires some of you to make a poster with the images that you take when you're on vacation or when you're out on the stream. And thanks again for watching.